My train arrived at the Hiroshima station the day after the bombing on the way to filming at the military base. From the platform, you could see smoke still rising from the people who formerly lived in the city. The headman at the newsreel company telephoned our Osaka branch and ordered the cameraman to rush to the scene. Then there was an unexpected incident. An order quickly came back from MacArthur's headquarters in Tokyo that our film was forbidden and our footage was suddenly taken away. First time I got into Nagasaki and saw the horror and the devastation, it was pathetic. The poor children were really suffering. They had a lost look staring at me as if to say, who are you? What have you done? I remembered the shadow on the granite steps of the bank where a man was seated at the time of the blast. To recreate it visually, I had a person sitting there wearing similar clothes and then had him stand up. We decided to film all the survivors we could find in Nagasaki hospitals. We were the only people with the time and equipment to make a full record of this hidden holocaust and the only ones shooting in color. I wanted to make a film or TV program based on our footage to warn the world about these weapons. The American public still had only seen the bomb's effect in photos of rubble, not people, and all in grainy black and white. I will never know if our footage and the Japanese film might have made the world safer from nuclear weapons if it had been shown to the public instead of buried for so many years. 